Another episode of the Comic Book Corner, and this is your host, the Spider Slayer. That's right, and today we are going to talk about um, the Walking Dead TV series, episode 5. Um, I am almost for sure that everyone will agree with me that this was a very good episode. This one had particularly featured on Daryl. And I am sure that he is a fan favorite for um, a lot of us Walking Dead fans out there. Um, I wish he was in the comic. I know I said this last week, um, but the man is a survivor. He will do anything to survive. And um, it, it was just phenomenal. And um, But we're going to walk through the, uh, the episode and you know we'll talk about more about Daryl later. Um, but again, it, it focuses on him, so i um, looking forward to that. Uh, but anyway, uh, I like this episode. This episode was a lot better than last week, a lot more. Um, the depth of the story was very good, and it, it just it kept you on the edge of your seat this whole time. It wasn't you know, as slow, and I understand there's going to be slow episodes, but this, this, this story, this particular one, was, was fantastic. Um, but in the beginning, which was nice to see of, of this episode, was you got to see Lori and Shane together. And you basically see all the cars stuck on the highway going to Atlanta. And the emergency broadcast system is, um, you know, off the air now. And basically all hell has broken lo loose and the military has gone to their last resort and it is basically just blowing up Atlanta and you can see it and if it happened to you if you put you know if this was a real real scenario and you put yourself in that sh in that situation can you imagine seeing Atlanta being blown up by the military that that just means as a human being in the zombie apocalypse that there is nothing left um, for you to uh, to go to it just means that oh my god it, it's over what, what are we going to do now um, and that was the opening scene of the story um, and I was like oh wow it's nice to see this because you get to see other human beings and you see these interactions and and stuff like that so it, it was it was good to see that and the next thing we see again and um, as the story continues is that we're still on the lookout for Sophia Rick is setting up a search grid um, for everyone to go to to, to find her. And uh, <clears throat> as the story goes along, um, it was nice to see Shane and Rick. They were bonding, and which was good. And they were talking about their high school flames and, and <clears throat> how they had, you know, they were hitting on their teachers. And, you know, and, and it was good to see them actually show their friendship in the... Um, in the episode uh, because you can actually see um, you know how good of friends that they were and then there was a realization factor that came into Shane and Rick and Shane disagree that you know that they have to make the hard decision in order for the group instead of spreading the group thin which is Rick's decision and, and searching for Sophia so they're on the differences on that side of it. Rick wants to find Sophia no matter what the cost is and Shane wants to move on and you know if it means losing her at this point then it means losing her because we can't lose any more people in the group. Survival of the fittest. Next as we go on we move on to the to the point where um, uh, Daryl comes in effect here and he's looking and he's riding the horse. He's, he's riding Herschel's horse and, uh, you know, he's looking for Sophia and you can see all of a sudden now that he finds Sophia's doll in a creek. And, um, and the next thing we know is that the horse gets startled 
and and what happens is the horse gets startled and he flies off the horse and he's going down the mountain stumbling down and the next thing we see him in is in a puddle of blood or in the river the creek has full of blood and he's got an arrow stuck in his side so that that's basically what happened there and he's like son of a bitch and then all of a sudden it goes to the commercial and you're like oh man what the hell is going to happen now so later on you see him he's he's sitting there and he's trying to climb back up the mountain and you know he's like stop being a pussy you know the badass that he is i mean seriously if you got an arrow stuck in your side and you're climbing up this big mountain dude seriously it's awesome and um and then he falls right back down again and then the next thing we know is look who we see we see merle we see his brother we see daryl's brother and basically saying <coughs> you know he's obviously hallucinating at this point and he's saying uh you know what are you little bitch uh, i never raised you to be this way you know you're 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 um what's it called doing biddings for you know uh democrat and you know what and this and that and you know he, he's saying all these things and then the next thing that they're going to do is they're going to scrape scrape you off your shoe like dog shit and i thought that was a funny line that they actually said uh that he said but basically it was kind of like everything i was playing in his brain well after he gets his realization going through all of a sudden you see a zombie gnawing at his shoe and boom Daryl's natural instincts come in. He starts kicking the shit out of the zombie. He starts banging him ahead with the log. And then next thing we see is that another one's coming after him. And he basically loads his uh, his crossbow. And boom, right in the freaking face. And it just goes right through his head. And he's like, oh my god. And he's climbing up the mountain again. And then he sees his brother again. And basically it's just a, you know, obviously he may have not had the best relationship with his brother. Uh, but it was a motivational tool to get him to survive. And that's what makes him such a strong character in this series. <clears throat> so next thing we know, he finally gets up the mountain and we don't hear from him. Uh, the group planned a nice dinner for, for Herschel and everybody, and um, which, was, which was nice uh, for thanking them and everything that they have done for the, for the group. And next thing we know is that Maggie wants to get her freak on with Glenn again, so they're passing notes saying, you know, where and when, and Glenn writes a note back, and, uh, and, uh, next thing we know, it's, uh, I'm sorry, I got that mixed up. That does happen, but what happens is that happens later on, so I'll go back to that. After the fact that Daryl climbs up the, uh, up the mountain, um, we see that Andrea doesn't want to be um, a laundry person anymore. She really wants to practice on her shooting. And the next thing we know, she's on top of, um, on, uh, on, uh, on the camper. And all of a sudden, she's got the uh, sharpshooter out. And she's screaming, Walker, Walker, Walker. And um, next thing we see is that the group starts running after her. And, uh, you know, she's advised, Andrea's advised uh, by Dale not to shoot the walker. Just keep it quiet. So they're chasing after him. And they're like, all the group afterwards, after they come up to him, they're like, Daryl? You know, and they're all shocked and everything. And because the way he's walking, he's all injured and he's bloody. And you think he looks like a zombie. Like, Aah. he looks just like that. So from Andrew's point of view, you can see the, the, the uh, perception there. But as they finally, you know, see him for what he is, you know, um, he finally says, Daryl finally says, he goes, that's the third time you're going point to point that thing at me. Are you going to shoot me or what? Next thing you know, bam, she's, he's shot. I'm like, oh my God, is he dead? Is that it? That can't be the end of it. I went to a commercial and the next thing we find out, that he was grazed by the bullet. He's okay. Um, he gets stitched up and fixed up and, you know, and, and everything's all kosher. Now we go back to the dinner and uh, Maggie's, you know, passing notes to Glenn. And basically they have plans uh, to hook up again, once again. So as the night goes on and she reads the note, 
she he finds that she finds out that Glenn writes, "Have you ever done it in Hayloft?" And all of a sudden, and this is what I thought was going to happen because this happened in the comic, that she's like, "Oh my God, he can't go there." So he she's running and he's going up there and he notices that he's on the Hayloft and it smells. And all of a sudden, you see a ton of zombies in that barn that's locked up. It's got to be the relatives of the family waiting for a cure. I know that's what it is. It's got to be them. It's the only reason why they're there. Maggie goes up there, and she's like, you're not supposed to see this. And basically, that's how the, um, the episode ends. Um, this episode, again, for me, was fantastic. Um, if you're a fan of Daryl, you'll really appreciate the episode. He just is, he his survival instinct is phenomenal. I don't know where the group would be without this guy. I mean, he's shooting squirrels, you know, with his crossbow to eat dinner. He's collecting zombie ears as a necklace, you know. He's like this tribal guy now. I mean, he, it, it's just an excellent episode. Um, one of the best episodes out of the five so far. Um, I definitely give this episode a 5 out of 5. If you haven't watched it yet, please watch it. I'm sorry if I gave away the whole thing. Um, but I know maybe some of you don't have cable and you can't see it. So at least you have a you know an idea of what happened. Um, but guys, please, you know, I want to talk about this episode with you. So, you know, message me. Do whatever you want. Comment. I'll comment you back. Um, I, I look forward to Monday mornings you know, making this video and, and discussing The Walking Dead with you all. And same with the comic. Uh, issue 91 comes out, I think, this Wednesday. Um, so as soon as I can, I'll put out a review for you. I know I get a lot of views and a lot of responses off The Walking Dead. So um, I'll provide any information that it is for you. Okay, so, you know, start writing the messages. And I will talk to you guys soon. Um, look forward to a comic book review very, very soon. All right. So until then, you guys, uh, stay safe and see you soon. Take care. Bye.